So, do I agree? I'm gonna see if I agree with Cherry Creams. NC Women's Best Gamal Rekatagi 2023 NCAA Tournament. I'm gonna see if I agree here. Um, there were 68 teams in the one super final, and there are in the first and second round, perhaps 16 teams host the first and second rounds, but there's only two. There's only two Sweet 16 and Elite 8 hosting venues. Instead of having, um, four, so there's going to be, in, you know, instead of having, like, and, like, two at night, you know? Instead of having Sunday and Monday, or it's going to be Elite 8. Probably still on Thursday and Friday is going to be the Sweet 16, but instead of having the Sweet 16. And two games at once on. You're going to have a whole day of Sweet 16 actually. On Thursday and Friday. Which, I mean, is nice, but. I mean, and people can't see it during the day of their work, so it sucks, but. I guess. But. Anyways, Final Four is March 1st and April 2nd. So let's take a look here. The first tupper row seed is South Carolina, which is no surprise they're the number one seed. Now it is USC, first team up. That's, I mean, yeah. I mean, USC is playing a tough conference, but they're not a good one. So that's their number of losses, yeah. I can see that though. And they haven't have played much in the Pac 12. Can't see last team in. You'll see it's good, but they're not. I mean, they're good, but maybe they're not conference or something like that. Okay. And they were the Sunday at Boston College. They've been spelling type 16. Whew, that's pretty solid right there. So let's see actually here. We have 16 bracket. We have Jackson State in the first four against Sanford. The Swack and was it Southern? Sokan, yeah. That makes sense, okay. And then we have Virginia and Nebraska, the ACC and Big Ten as the first four. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, Nebraska's hanging on there, but Virginia's hanging on there, too. I mean, Virginia's good, though, but they've been stuck now, so. Southern Utah, the big sky, and Southeast Louisiana. I would have what conference they are. Southern Louisiana. Southern. So that's no surprise right there. You know, maybe they're just the two. You know, they're not in conference, and they're just, but they're good in conference. And then we have Columbia, taking Kansas State. No surprise there. I mean, Columbia is good though, so they must not be that mad qualifier though. Even though, so that's pretty good for the Abbey to get two in, so. We got South Carolina, we got Tegan Jackson, C and Sanford. No surprise there. Colorado, eight. Okay, Colorado's good. I'm surprised they're only, or only an eight. I'm surprised. Oklahoma State being nine. Mm. Seems a little too high for me, but and we're gonna go down this off side of the bracket first. In college per Maryland. We have NC State. They're five. Yeah, they've been they've been not as good as they used to be, yeah. Cleveland State. A twelve, yeah, that's fitting. They're pretty good in highs and a pretty good overall record. So James Madison. James Madison's been been decent, but they've been so Maryland, yeah, Maryland's been slipping. No surprise there. Villanova. I'm, su I'm surprised Villanova's that low. Mississippi State. Uh, first four. Not first four, 11. That's surprising. And, I mean, maybe they're South Carolina. Close. A little bit. Maybe, maybe kept them in there. Duke. No surprise there. Duke's. Really, you saw this year. That's a three. 
Duke is actually pretty solid also. No real surprise there. Akron in the Met. Yeah, it just depends on who's the A Met qualifier because there's so many good teams in the Met. Because actually, Akron, there's like three, four or five good teams that can call contend like for top. Gonzaga. I'm surprised Gonzaga's that low as a seven. I'm surprised though. They haven't like played Portland yet in their conference. I mean, but they've had a good non conference, so. I'm kind of surprised that they're a seven. I mean, I think they'd be like a six, five, or six, but I thought so. Think so, but maybe I'm wrong. Missouri ten. Yeah, I mean Missouri's good, but I don't know. Ten seems a little too low, but them, but I mean they haven't. But I mean Utah two. Yeah, that's thing because they played teams in the past twelve, and they're pretty much I believe still undefeated. So, or maybe they have one loss in the year in Pac twelve play, but they're still really a solid team. You know, they played you know one in non conference. They're still solid though. Eastern only. No, it's super surprising. Here. In in the Seattle region, we have. Indiana and what you know, Indiana should be a one, but they're not the I'm at Crawford one because Ohio State's in the field, so but that, but I'm, I'm not surprised though. I mean, they might slip to two because they're not I'm at Crawford, but I still think they should be undefeated though. I do personally, yeah, and that's what Charlie Cream thinks as well. They should be undefeated though. Oh, Miss and Weasel. Weasel has been struggling, so. Nine kind of seems fitting, though, for the early struggles. Oh, Miss. Miss is surprising, eight. I will say I'm definitely surprised by Ole Miss being eight, but. Miss has been surprised, sneakily surprising lately, so. Florida State's really good. Has a five, yeah. You know, we. You know, we. See. You know, receiving vote. Looks probably starting to receive votes or be in the conversation for that. As um, they're getting a the game on FS1 on Saturday night, late Saturday night when they're so cause there must not be any men's games or maybe this one's in just a pair of teams or who knows. But they're playing um UNO V is playing like I think New Mexico or something on at home. It's gonna be a nice test to prove though if they can be a beat them by like a good bit or something. Maybe these duties are to be up more. Arizona's taking a pen. Pen in the map. It must be because they be in Columbia. Arizona's pretty solid though. They're sneakily surprising though, I will say, but being that high, but they they deserve it. Florida State though being that low being we have that symbol. I heard symbol, but you're good, though, regardless. South Florida being a six. And they're not the AQ. That seems fang, though, for not being the AQ. Virginia, Nebraska, Virginia. I don't know. I'm just kind of. I mean, Virginia is slipping on, so I'm kind of surprised. But not the last one in, but that's not super surprising. I mean, it's kind of hard to judge the last one in, though. So, but they're, they're near and old. Iowa State. No surprise there. I mean, you know, you got Ashley Jones. You got everyone, like, killing it on her. And they're still killing it on Stephanie's words. So, they're, they'll be fine. They're, honestly, I don't see them really slipping much. Unless it's me, but the Baylor, maybe? I don't know, though. South Bend, we have Nordane. They've been slipping up, but they're still going to be fine. There's like a 2 3 in that top 4 range. They're still be fine, though. Or in Southern. I'm still sneaky, though. Surprising, though. So, Seen Hall. I don't watch too much biggies because they're not on TV much. Like, only occasionally FS1 and CBS Sports Network occasionally in Missouri. 
Ja, Brooks. So. Na, anything else? Yes, we're good. I don't know too much. Um, I guess I don't know too much about Adam, but they're good. I mean, they're, they're on that cover, so I'm not, I guess I can't say too much about that. I don't see, no, no surprise there, they're the, they're like the three overall seed. Are they like the fourth seed? Maybe. Maybe they are the four. Hmm. Maybe they are the four overall. Or maybe there are two overall. There must be the two overall. She adds no surprise there. Southern Utah, so he's really a no surprise there. there. Tennessee? I'm surprised Tennessee's in. Yeah, but Tennessee's have been struggling all early in the year. They have like six, seven. They have like. They've been losing a lot. Now they're starting to come. Starting to play really well. And play solid basketball. So. Same with Texas. has been struggling, but been pretty solid. So. As late, so. They beat Kansas on Tuesday night, so. Good for them. They prove themselves. Yes, wait. Oregon. I don't watch too much Pac-12 because they're not on ESPN much, but because they're on Pac-12 network, they don't get Pac-12 network. Even these online sites you can't get Pac-12 streams of Pac-12 network without paying for service. And it's like pretty expensive, so no surprise. But I don't see here. Northern Iowa. Northern Iowa is a pretty good basketball school. I'm not really surprised there that they're 12. It's an eight, even a misery valley. Maybe. Um, Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech's been playing pretty solid. So, no surprise there. St. Joseph's. 13. That's not really a surprise. I mean, St. Joseph's has been. I've seen St. Joseph's 10 since. They've been playing pretty solid. They're 14, 2, and 8, 10. I mean, maybe they should be a 12 or 11. Maybe a 12. Maybe a 12 on it. Call for so. That's the only good path. Oklahoma. I'm surprised Oklahoma's done that call for. They play good teams. They've... So. Maybe they should have slept up on something they shouldn't have. So. Um, you know, maybe. I'm not really sure. Miami the eleven. Yeah, Miami's been struggling. But now that um they're getting back in the flow of things. You know, I think they can I think maybe Miami Miami's I think it's probably gonna have sleep maybe where they're under rate, but they're good. Or they'll either be under rate to be decent. And be they should have been higher, you know. And they play a tough and they have to play a tough first round game, maybe eight nine first round game, or maybe a seven ten, a tough seven ten. I'll be in the seven. I'll be in the ten or something. Let's see, I guess the seven. It doesn't really matter either way. I'll play a tough seven ten, maybe eight nine. So, well, maybe they could slip and just hold in on like the eleven, hold on just like by threads, if they struggle so. But I think they'll be fine enough. I don't think they'll be first four to trade though. But they'll be probably nine, eight, nine, ten, maybe seven at the best. Maybe you see, no surprise there. But they've been can't really say struggling lately. But they haven't been like there. There's really there hasn't been a lot of room to improve at the top for them. But there haven't been like at the top. They haven't been like down low or, you know, like struggle. They haven't been like, they've been, I don't know, like, I mean, there's like, they've been like improving, but they haven't been like dropping them either. So, you see, right? No surprise there. Big West. I know. There's Big West in that qualifier. So, Illinois, Illinois being a seven. They're underrated value. 
They are undervalued. They should be top 25, and they are top 25, like 24th, but barely. And I'm, su- I'm surprised, though, but maybe people are just sleeping on Illinois. People are just sleeping. I don't know if close to me a 10. Yeah. I mean, they they should be probably, like, a, they should be, like, BYU. Probably should, if they if they play well in their conference, maybe, like, BYU was last season. You know, where they were, like, a mid-major. Almost a whole mid-major. I don't think they'll be quite there yet this year, but they'll be probably, I think they should be, like, more than, not a double digit C, maybe, like, a 7, 8, if they keep, if they keep, but if they keep winning their conference games, they'll be moving up, 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 and if they win their conference tournament, that'll really boost them up, too, so, I just gotta keep doing what they're doing, and improve, so. Unless you mean a 2. Yeah, that's not a surprise. I mean, they play good teams in the SEC. They play good teams in the SEC, but non-conference is kind of lackluster or something. And they're t- the ones are just even bit so even regardless if they did, I don't think that puts them in with the one. So you see, Norfolk State fifteen. You know, Norfolk State's kind of weak in the fifteen. You know, good records. No surprise there. Stanford, no surprise there. And their only loss is the South Carolina, so guarantee you won. Idaho State, 16. No surprise there. Milton, a CB name. They're not going to adore top 25. I can see Milton. Milton, a CMAX, and adore top 25. I see him being a 7 or. But they, I think. Milton seeing them, these mid majors got hope for stuff to happen in the top, and then it like, and then they keep showing up, and they'll eventually improve. So, Crane, I mean, it's a surprisingly good team, but Crane's been pretty good the last couple of seasons. But they've been, you know, Crane's been good. I mean, they're sneakily good, they're gonna sneak up on you come March, you know, they'll sneak up on it somewhere. I think they could. And upset someone. I think they could. Uh, Baylor. Is slipping a little bit. Oh, I think Nikki Collin knows. You know. What's like. So. The WNBA coach. And she can apply that to her. I mean. And I was unslipping. You know. With the dream. So. I think she can apply that. Oh. For Baylor. Squad all that way. 